Hello everyone, I am Nehal from WS Cube Tech and this particular video will write a simple Python program to just uh, display the length of the string, okay. So what we are going to do basically is like we will take the input from the user, alright, and uh, uh, we are going to take the input as a string, right. So we are going to take the input as a string and what we want to do basically is we just want to calculate like uh, what is the length of that uh, string. So what uh, the first step over here would be that um, we are going to take the input. So say for example, I just say that str and this is my variable name and I will just say that input and inside this I will just ask the user to enter the string. So I will just say enter the string fine and uh, once I have this input uh, of uh, input stored inside my str variable. So the next step is like uh, uh, I want to know like what is the length of my particular st uh, string. So we have this uh, inbuilt method uh, over here for that purpose that is len all right. So we'll just make use of that first. So I will just say that uh, uh, print inside my print I will just say that uh, length and uh, I'm using this length inbuilt method and inside this I will just pass pass str all right so i will just get this thing over here and if i just run over here so if i just run over here so it will just ask me for the string so say i give it as ws cube check all right and if i just say enter over here so you are getting the uh, the length over here so you can just count and the uh, the length is counted by one okay so you can just count so this one is uh, w is at one length so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so it is just 10 so this is how you can just uh, print the length of your string all right and the next uh, step which uh, the next method which i'm uh, going to show you guys is like uh, what if you don't don't want to use this inbuilt method over here and instead of that you want to go with the for loop so you can do that thing as well so what i'm just going to do is uh, if I just say like uh, for uh, just saying yeah so if I just, uh, just say that for and I'm just going to give a variable name so that I want to just store that particular uh, each character inside my variable name so I will I will I can take any name over here so if I say well so if I just say that uh, uh, or if I can just take a character over here uh, that sounds pretty good over here because it's a character it would be a character. So if I just say for character in what in, in my str because that is where uh, I am storing my uh, input that is the string. I have the string inside my str over there. So what I am basically going to do is I am just making use of this for loop over here. So I am just saying that for each character in the str and uh, I will just show you guys like if I just say that print character over here. So we are going to get each character uh, one by one. So first what it will do, it will just ask you for the name of the string. So we'll take as WS cube tech, all right. So if I just take the string, so you are saying that uh, it is displaying uh, first W, S, C. So this is nothing but we are doing iteration, right. So at each, uh, 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 like for example, uh, here uh, once we have taken as WS cube tech over here as a string, now what this for loop will do is for character so it will just fetch this w inside it and it will just print w so we got that w over here all right in the next step what in the next iteration what will happen is it will just go to s so it will just fetch in the inside the character it will just fetch s and in, it will just print s and likewise it will go till the end okay so but i don't want uh, this character to get printed over here what I my goal is that I want to get the length of my string over here so that uh, what we can do is I'm just going to uh, initialize a variable uh, uh, say for example count okay so I'll just initialize that variable to zero okay so I've set my count is equal to zero and what I'm basically going to do over here is that I will just say that count is equal to count plus one all right and once I've done with this, so what will happen at this stage is like we are not printing the each uh, character from a string. So this will what, what it will basically do is as many as number of times that iteration will go. So first it will just come and if I just uh, 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 say W, so it, the W would come over here and 
the uh, original count is 0. So, it will be 0 is equal to 0 plus 1 and the result is 1. So, in count uh, the 1 will be stored. Likewise, this iteration will go on and we can just finally get the result from by printing the count variable. So, I will just uh, come out of my for loop and I will simply say that print count. So, if I do it this way, so now what it will say, it will just ask uh, uh, for my uh, string. So, if I just say ws cube check, all right, and you can see that we are getting the results. So, basically what is happening over here is like, say for example, I do not print this count, all right, I will just comment this thing. And what I am doing, I just want to let you guys know like what we are doing currently. So, I am just going to print, uh, uh, type the print statement over here. And I'm what I'm printing the count because I just want you guys know that each iteration what is happening inside my loop. So in this case, what is happening is suppose I give it as an input as WS cube tag. So you can see over here that what is basically it is doing that at the first time, uh, at the first iteration, uh, it will just fetch this W over there, but uh, it will be stored over here. But uh, inside my uh, uh, for loop, the condition which I have passed is count is equal to count plus one. So count will be zero. So, 0 is equal to 1 is 1, all right. So, it has printed 1 over here, okay. Means it has, uh, yes, it has printed 1 as well and it has stored that thing inside the count variable, fine. Then at the, at the second one, that is at S. So, at S, what will happen? So, at the second iteration, what will happen? Now, now count has 1 inside a store. So, it will be just 1 plus 1. So, it will be 2. So, now in count, you have 2. So, uh, first it will get printed this count. So, it has printed this 2 over here, all right. Then at the th third iteration, what will happen? Like C is there. So in this uh, now count is uh, have, uh, having value two stored inside it. So it will just say uh, two plus one. So it will be three. So it has printed three. So likewise, it will go till 10. That is the last element will be H and inside our count, there will be nine stored uh, uh, just uh, before that iteration. So nine plus one will be 10. So at the final count, you are have going to have this count 10 inside this right and this is what I just printed over here by this statement at li my line 7. So, I hope now you have understood like what I have basically done over here and if I just remove this line and once again if I just print this uh, uncomment this thing and if I just run over here and if I just say that ws cube tag all right. So, you can see that we are getting that count uh, what is stored inside our uh, uh, variable that is count that uh, the length stored inside our variable. So, this is how you can just uh, uh, know the length of your string, whatever the string you have entered over here. Now, what if I just give the string as a number, all right? So, if I just give it this way, I am giving it this way. So, you can see that we are getting this thing, but you can uh, see that this thing is considered as a string over here, okay? And it is not a number anymore. So, I hope you have understood this thing. So, if you just like this video, so hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Hey!